I didn't really get a good look. That's okay. I don't feel like answering phones. Hey, did you guys see this memo that Dwight sent out? Women will be sent home if they wear makeup or heels exceeding one quarter inch. Females are not allowed to speak to strangers unless given written authorization by Dwight Schrute. This is ridiculous. Attention, I am removing all bananas from the kitchen. Dwight, this memo that you distributed is insulting. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Sleeves down to the wrists, button-up collars, and muted colors. Nobody dresses like that. Oh, okay, you know something, Dwight? We are not the terrorists. Why don't you just take these women, put them in a burlap sack, and hit them with a stick? Because that's what you're doing. I celebrate these women. They deserve the right to dress as they please. If Pam wants to show more cleavage, she should be able to. I encourage that. Look, it's really simple. We just want you guys to treat us with respect. See? That's what we're talking about. Did you hear that, Dwight? Yes. Did you hear that, Michael? No, Dwight. Respect. R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what it means to me. All right, you know what? That's it. Conference room, five minutes. Women's appreciation. Wait a second, how are you qualified for that? Oh, I don't know, James. Did I come from a woman? Have I slept with a woman? More mm. than one? Less than three. That is not current. But you know what? Why didn't Oscar run the meeting? He's a homosexual. Why don't you run the meeting? You play with dolls. Those are collectible action figures, and they're worth more than your car. You know what? I am the expert. I will conduct it. I know the crap out of women. I, um, would like to apologize for all of the men who thought this was a laughing matter. Are we still discussing this? I say again, what is the big deal? Nobody likes to be flashed. When Meredith flashed me at that Christmas party, I nearly vomited. I don't remember doing that. What a surprise. Okay, no cat fights. Please, let's... My point is, my point is a penis, when seen in the right context, is the most wonderful sight for a woman. But in the wrong context, it is like a monster movie. Alien. What are, shut it, shut up. Okay, so what I want to engage us in today is a hardcore discussion about women's problems and issues and situations. Magazines and TV shows and movies portray women as skinny, tall goddesses. Well, look around. Are women like that? No. No, they are not. Even the hot ones aren't really that skinny. So what does that say? That says that you women are up against it and it is criminal. Society doesn't care. Society sucks. I don't even consider myself a part of society. FYI, because I am so angry over all of this. If it were up to me, you ladies would be the fashion models. Yes, Andy. Then the fashion models could come here and work with me. What you're saying is extremely misogynistic. Yes. Thank you. That was not necessary, but I appreciated it. And proves my point. Women can do anything. I'm saying that you're being sexist. No, I'm being misogynistic. That is insane. I'm not being sexist. That, that's, that's the same thing. Yes. When I got my haircut chart, you asked me if I was a lesbian. Because why? Wow, that was one possible explanation as to why you got that haircut. And when we get mad, you always ask us if we're on our periods. I have to know whether you're serious or not. I wish I could menstruate. If I could menstruate, I wouldn't have to deal with idiotic calendars anymore. I'd just be able to count down from my previous cycle. Plus, I'd be more in tune with the moon and the tides.